The new Sims 4 Generations pack has officially been leaked, but we're, I mean, I was expecting any different it getting leaked the day before we get the trailer. No. No, we weren't. The very first thing I saw from this leak was a Letty Simmer tweet with a screenshot of like a YouTube thumbnail kind of photo this morning, February 1st at 12, 11 a.m. So very early morning of February 1st. But you can see here, it, like the reveal trailer, like thumbnail, it's called Growing Together Expansion Pack. And this is the Michelson father and the Michelson infant child little one. I saw this last night before going to bed. This morning, I woke up to a Sims community article with a lot more information, honestly, more information than I was expecting to get. Here is the full screenshot, which contains the father and infant from the initial thumbnail. But right from the mat, you can see that there's the bridge of San Sequoia. There's a kid riding a bike, which they can't do right now. So maybe we're getting that functionality in the update. I don't think it would be a, a pack exclusive interaction. I think that'd be coming in the update. Also, the infant is in like a carrier. And I think that's really cute. And I really want carriers for children. Also, I do believe all of this cast is new items and they're looking pretty cute. I could be wrong. I'm not a big cast user, but they're looking pretty cute. The leak surfaced on a German online retail store called CW Mobile. And then the Sims community has ex exported their on their own completely and has translated it for us. But when you click the link, it does take you to the website and it still has the listing up there. It hasn't been asked to be taken down yet. And we have, there's a few different screenshots that we'll take a closer look at later. But you can see it has all of like the highlights and the features and everything listed here and like specs and other stuff that I don't know because I don't speak German. So this is the box art though. And I think it's looking really cute. I think it looks really, really cute. The features and description were also listed on that website. Now these are all translated roughly from German. They could be a little bit different because translation from the official features, but here they are. Strengthen family bonds, form friendships or enemies, and discover the true you with the Sims 4 Growing Together expansion pack. The way your Sims form relationships with others, from family members to new acquaintances, is now more diverse and deeper. Both planned events like slumber parties and unexpected milestones like a midlife crisis shape your Sims and their relationships. I'm so excited to have slumber parties. I was talking about this when we got the, the little camper kit. I was maybe expecting like something like a slumber party kit or something, and I'm really excited to find like a slumber parties. I think it's gonna be such a cute little thing to have. Also, Life crisis seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I do believe that was a feature in The Sims 3. I never was one to play Sims 3 with packs. I didn't have any, so I can't say for certain, but I do believe that was a Sims 3 X Generations feature. Long lasting impact. Major decisions and milestones help shape your Sims personalities. Unlock and change personality traits as your Sims experience midlife crises, move in with family members and more throughout their lives. Self-discovery is a lifelong task. So this is a lot about like self-discovery for your Sims. You can move in with your family members, which is gonna, I think that's gonna be interesting to see if that adds anything else or if just this normal features of having sims move in with you we'll have to wait and see it also says unlock and change personality traits so maybe we'll be able to unlock additional traits from this expansion and be able to switch them out as we go so maybe your sims starts as a slob but they you know have a life crisis and become like a neat freak or something that could be kind of cool that could be kind of cool to like have your sims change over the years social dynamics sometimes sims just fit together like a pot and lid at a party your sim may be the sim with whom they have instant chemistry or who they initially hate your sim now has preferences that determine which sim they are compatible with and which encounters can result in hostilities. So we're getting a chemistry system. I'm interested to see how this works. Again, I think they had this in The Sims 3, but I can't say for certain. I'm interested to see how this works aside from our current relationship system where you can just kind of start out hating each other, but I think that's more just a faux pas in your interactions than it being a chemistry related thing. So I'm excited to see how that expands and if that'll be a pack exclusive or that'll be a base game update that comes with the infant update. Family links. The relationships between related Sims are meaningful and complex. As they move through life together, they will experience both dramatic and unifying moments that impact family dynamics and family member relationships. So this will be really fun to have. You can really grow as a family, experience things together as a family. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun, especially for legacy challenges and things like that. It's going to add, I think, that little like touch of realism for these gameplay, for this gameplay. Perfect for families. Located on a bay, San Sequoia was once a small fishing village that has grown into a vibrant city. Here you'll find quiet suburbs, a bustling recreation center, a tight-knit community, and an influential family. The road Robleses. So that's a whole new family that we don't know about. So there's gonna be the Michelsons and then the Robleses, unless that's a translation error and it's the Michelsons. The city sounds like it's a, gonna be a beautiful world for gameplay. I'm really excited to see what it looks like. And I'm just I'm just a sucker for a new world, so I'm just really excited for that. And here is a screenshot of some gameplay from the pack. So you can see there's like jogging suits. Maybe he's jogging. She's taking some pictures. Then all the new cast is looking really, really cute. I don't see any new landscaping, unfortunately, which kind of makes me sad. 
as a landscaper. I'm kind of sad that there's no new landscaping yet, but you never know. This building is looking really cute. I really like the look of it. We also have some binoculars over here, which is very fun. And we have another baby backpack for the babies, for the, like for the infants. And I love this hat. Also, we love the inclusivity. We do have the sim with a hearing aid, which is added just yesterday into the game with a base game update with the medical accessories as well as the binders and shapewear and top surgical stars. But that's great to see here. This stood out to me yesterday with the live stream with the infants. They had birthmarks. And I'm really happy to see that there are birthmarks here on this sim as well. So I'm expecting for those birthmarks to stay on the sim through multiple ages and not just be removed when they leave infanthood or childhood or teenagehood and not have them on the adult sims. So it does look like we are getting that feature added into the game. I'm assuming it's going to be a base game update and not a pack exclusive because that it is a little bit of diversity and like they can't just put that behind a paywall. That would be wrong. That's one thing that's really stuck out to me that I really, really appreciate. As most expansion packs have in the recent years, they've come with pre-order bonuses. So if you order the pack by April 27th, you'll receive some of the exclusive items below, which is a swing set, a little elephant slide that looks like the one from Animal Crossing, which is kind of fun. And this, it says power walk something in German. I don't know what exactly that is. It could be the carrier. It could be an additional carrier. It could be a stroller. Now I've seen the like, screenshots of carriers. I think it's a carrier. I thought it was a stroller. A really lo weird looking stroller, but I thought it was a stroller. I think this is a little carrier, like a little sun roof thing. So that's going to be a really fun feature to have. So I think those carriers are going to be a really fun thing to have in the game. I'm interested to see again, if it's going to be a base game update as well with a few uh, new variations in the expansion, or if it's going to be an expansion exclusive to have the carriers. Cause that'll like make a lot of difference for having infants, I think. Especially for something like a hundred challenge. You can just strap the kid on and like live your life, you know? You will notice that there was no release date listed. I assume we'll get a official release date tomorrow, which is when the trailer comes out on the YouTube channel. But based on previous releases, I expect it to be released on March 16th. The infant update comes out on the 14th, so it would make a lot of sense for the pack to come out on the 16th, which is a Thursday. For high school years this summer, the bonus content was available until September when the pack was released in July. So it would make sense for it to be extended on. So I do think it'll be released in March right around the infant update. Let me know what you think about this pack in the comments. Are you excited for it? Are you not looking forward to it? What are you hoping to see in this pack now that we know exactly what it is? What are your thoughts? I'd love to know. Tell me in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!